Nevada via the Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. Going to stop in for a barrel hunt later on with uh, Vinny Two Times, the man in the white pants, and April Brucker, possibly Dwayne Newton, all coming up later today. But on this stream, we're driving from Scottsdale and as far as we can get into the mountains before we lose signal. And we'll pick it up on the other side of Kingman up to Lake Mead at the Hoover Dam area. It's going to be a fun-filled day of traveling across the desert. 98 degrees outside right now. Mr. Ming, welcome. Good to have you here. Awesome hot summer day almost. Not quite summer. Getting there. 98 degrees in Scottsdale. Going to be nice and cool up in the mountains, hopefully. Neil, how are you doing? Hey, good to have you here. Seeking Vegas sunrise. Hey, Coach Steve, will there be a... Uh, this be the way to the strat. This is actually the direct way to the strat. Yes, it is. Pitt State Gorillas, welcome. Thank you for the $5 super chat. We will find the strat for sure. Strat or bust, that's what I should have said. Jennifer Lee, how you doing? Aloha to you. What time is it in Hawaii? Bill Lewis is here. DR Hamilton and Joe. We're on uh, Hayden Road to Chaparral here. We'll make a right, take us to the freeway jump on the freeway and head around the city of Phoenix, Scottsdale, into the uh, northern mountain areas there. Strat or bus. Hashtag Strat or bus. There we go. That's our new, uh, new motto here. Strat or bust. <laughs> Strat or bust. <laughs> Mustang Sandy. How are you doing? It's a beautiful, beautiful Scottsdale afternoon. Hot, hot. 1008 in Hawaii. Cool. DR Hamilton, is it Dr. Hamilton or DR? You gotta let me know there. Coach is looking for barrels today. Yes, uh, later on we have a live at the lake. Well, we say live because the stream's live, but we're not sure what we'll find. Grandma slots, it's gonna catch on, it shall. It shall catch on. $3,900 for a uh, Mercedes for sale here on the street. I'm sure it's in good shape. If I had $3,900, I would've bought it right there on the spot. This is a direct eastbound route until we get to the freeway. Then we head north. I don't have a wrench. Please don't hurt me. Robert, we won't hurt you. We promise. Wrenches are not required. We were a uh, over-wrenched channel at one point. Had some issues. We uh, talked with our friends at YouTube. Uh, they did a bunch of things to fix a lot of stuff. And uh, so we are on wrench. Uh, what's the word? Wrench uh, rationing. There's a supply chain issue of wrenches. Gila River is back. How you doing? You're driving on the wrong side of the road. I hear that a lot. I get a lot of, uh, a lot of feedback on that. Bad things have been popping up at Lake Mead recently. Yes. Yes. Uh, one of the uh, people that we're going to be with is a former law enforcement officer who certainly uh, would have information, possibly. Also, we're going to be uh, talking to some random citizen who may or may not have any background in this area is transporting barrels across state lines illegal not if they float not if they float oh I just went to a circle K as you see in the uh, thumbnail they didn't have my diet coke I'm getting a caffeine free diet coke but it tastes like cherry coke it's pretty nasty hello Mustang Sandy from Bill Lewis Wrenches are back ordered, tough to say, six months, Seeking Vegas Sunrise, that is correct. We get one in every once in a while. I ordered some samples as well from different wrench suppliers. And uh, hopefully we'll get those in, one onesie, twosie here. There's a new uh, plastic wrench. I'm not sure if that's any good. We're going to order those as well. Bringer, how you doing? We were watching our friend uh, Fernando earlier, live in, in New York. They've got a, a Japanese parade going on. And he was out there. Barrington, how are you? Good to have you here. Robert Kaczynski, where are you watching from? What part of the world? Let us know. We'd like to know always where we're reaching out to. This is the Gila River Pima Maricopa Indian Reservation, Indian community that we're on. Scottsdale Community College is built here. Tried to run wrenches. They said they're stuck on a shrimp. A shrimp? Stuck on a ship. <laughs> Pennsylvania, cool. Seeking Vegas Sunrise in Colorado. Pennsylvania, we get a lot of Pennsylvania viewing. People want to get back to Vegas or come to Vegas or see Vegas. Nebraska in the house, Australia in the house. Of course, there's always Detroit. 
It's cool that all these streamers know each other. Yeah, we love uh, love each other, except for those that don't love each other, but we try to make it peaceful for everyone. You've never been to Vegas, gotta come on out. Interesting place. Scottsdale is a nice place. I've got relatives there, yeah. Merged out of the traffic here. We're gonna do a uh, YouTuber get together at the English Hotel. We're gonna sponsor it, gonna put up some food and beverage for everyone. Invite everyone out to uh, hang out and get to know each other and relax a little bit, you know what I mean? I would have been in Iceland, but I've moved to Canada. Never been to Iceland. I've always wanted to go to Reykjavik because I wanted to say Reykjavik. I wanted to put it on my mail. Minneapolis, great place. Good thing about barrels, one size fits all. Uh, just ask uh, Drew Peterson. No relation to Scott. Well, kind of related, not bloodline. Two years ago, had a plane booked hotel, or had, had plane booked hotel rooms, all paid, then, wow, hospital three days, canceled the trip, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of trips are being canceled two years ago. Hopefully you're all better, get a chance to come out at some point. Reykjavik, it's fun to say. Let's on the one size fits all. Allegedly. Uh, there's, uh, there's a couple of guys might need two barrels. A Jimmy two barrels. As a matter of fact, it'd be one person. You see what we can see. We're going to be uh, perched up on a ledge overlooking a dry lake bed area that uh, makes its way to the lake bed. We'll be scanning the horizon. We'll be talking to an expert on what to look for and what to do if you find something unusual on a lake bed. Yeah, the meet and greet will be fun, uh, inviting anyone and everyone that wants to come out. There's going to be some channels that will, some channels that won't. We don't uh, have any opinion either way. We're just happy to uh, meet everyone. And uh, with some sushi and some uh, booze, I'm sure we'll get quite a few people out. We'll do some uh, sampled food items. If it's too hot, we can go inside the lobby or inside the pepper club. But certainly we have the uh, pergola cabanas now. Oh, got a copyright claim. Was uploading a video from Trader Joe's earlier today. Looks like I'm gonna have to take out some music. That's too bad. Maybe we'll just have to gloss it over with other music. Some fun stuff at Trader Joe's in Scottsdale. You can see the prices, the products, the people. The three Ps. Making our westbound turn as we shoot across the north part of uh, Phoenix here eventually. This is a northwest bit here. Take us a little bit further north around Scottsdale. Northern Phoenix towards Cave Creek. Take a uh, carefree highway over to Wickenburg. Then on up into the mountains. Last night's trip I had to pull over twice and sleep. I couldn't make it. It was worn out. Mrs. Cash has no idea. She slept through the whole thing. To be fair, pergola is a roof that doesn't roof. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. We're gonna put a bunch of uh, plant life and uh, greenery and shrubs and uh, decorations on them to kind of conceal the open spaces. But it does provide great shade. Used to live in a little island off the south coast in Vesta, Vesta Menyar. You're gonna have to phonetically spell that for me so I can do it right. Don't want to uh, insult the fine folks from Vesta Menyar, or whatever it's pronounced as. Each tribe member got a million dollars for a freeway you're driving. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, there's a couple things that generate the revenue now. One is the freeway that goes over the land. Uh, they got a federal lease on that. There's a lot of uh, buildings going up, including the Scottsdale Community College, malls, there's a Walmart, a lot of stuff that supports the Scottsdale Tempe Mesa area. Then of course the casinos, and then there's tons of agriculture that they do, uh, whether it's cotton farming, wheat, corn, soybeans, 
uh, lots and lots of agriculture now in the uh, communities that they have around the Phoenix area. The joke is on those idiots in the 1800s. Let's move all these folks, take them, take their land and move them out west. Well, they ended up with some of the most choice price, priceless land in all of the world out here. Not that it makes uh, all the atrocities go away, in my opinion, allegedly. Coach Ray back, I put too much tequila in the loon water. Oh, no. Nothing, nothing goes good with tequila. Well, I guess that's not a good statement. Nothing that you remember after tequila goes... Anyway, you make your own sentence. As a uh, person who grew up in Alaska and uh, spent much time in South Dakota and intermingled with Native American tribes, my... Uh, my heart leans with them, if, that, uh, if we can be semi-political on here. Uh, pergola or gazebo, how does a guy choose? That's a great question. Uh, we flipped a coin, is what we did. Close enough? Ask the vest ma nu ya yer. 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 Okay, I got it. By Job, I think I got it. Anthony, how you doing? I'll say it 40, 50 times, I'll get it eventually. Let me try it again. It's Vesta Guido. Vesta Guido. No, not even close. I think the pergola, you can put a grill in and you don't need permits, but if you have a gazebo, you need a permit because it collects the smoke. And a gazebo could be awkward. There we go. So I am actually having to hold it here. Let me uh, put it back up, turn on the air conditioner directly onto it. Are we back? Check one, two, check, check, check one, two. It is hotter than hell here. Welcome everybody, it happens, the buffer happens. Gotta find a way to cover this thing up. Block the sunshine. We are back. All right, cool. Let me, uh, yeah, I got some cold air blowing on it now. Back and fine, good. Yeah, it immediately shut down due to the heat, so I've taken off the uh, phone condom, the uh, case, so it doesn't get damaged when it's being worked. And uh, put it in front of the cool air for a minute. Now we got the cold air blowing on. Coach, I, I'm doing a review at Circle K Food. <laughs> Doing a review of Circuit K food. Oh, good. Some of it's pretty good. Most of it uh, you know, fills the gut. It does a good job there. Speaking of food, on our trip today, we got a couple of great food items. The bag of cauliflower today. Nothing but the best on the road trip. So if you'd like something delicious and healthy and good for you, try cauliflower. fan for it. I'll show you the other item. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Road Trip. That's good for you too. It's got like vitamins and stuff in it. Susie Luck has arrived. How are you? Saturday Looning, always my favorite. Drove down last night, driving back right now. Got a lot done, fresh laundry, did some shopping, got some stuff mailed, freshened up, spritzed, slept a little bit. It's all good. All good road trip food. That's right, I can one, two, three, four, five. And it was, I picked out the organic cauliflower, it's $1.99 a pound. Then I went to the normal cauliflower and it was $1.49 a pound. So I saved 50 cents a pound on a two pound head of cauliflower. You do the math. I'm balling today. 
Loon time. There you go. Chicago checking in. What's the temperature up in Chicago right now? Do the math. Cauliflower, toast, crunch. Like cauliflower pizza crust. It's kind of like that. Yeah, I like the cauliflower pizza crust when I don't know what it is. If I eat it first, then I'm cool with it. 84 in Chicago. Okay. It's not bad. Great baseball weather. Those August days at Wrigley. A little humidity. Oh, it's tough. The beer gets warm right away. The ice in your soda melts right away. But the nachos are great. What up? How we doing? Is that Reggie? Regis. I'm having trouble seeing because I've got the sun right in my eyes. Wish I could show you what I'm looking at, but basically the sun beating right down in my eyes so I could see the screen kind of. If I had my second gimbal with me, if I had uh, the Super Friends gimbal, I could show it to you. We'll turn north here in about 10 minutes and then the sun won't be directly on the camera. But look at the wispy clouds up in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful. So we'll drive as far as we can up into Lake Pleasant area. And as all we get around that lake, we go up a hill. Always dies there. We're going to try to keep it on though. We'll bring it back. See if we can get all the way to Wickenburg. It is Reggie. Okay, thank you very much. As I drive, I can only usually capture one or two words and try to get the gist of a chat with that. And then I'll go back when I can, as long as it's safe. Spending 99% of my time watching the road and a quick glance over to the right, directly in front of me, to uh, see what the chat says. Safety first. That's our motto here. Safety first. Save a flamingo. Where did the strat at? No, it wasn't it. SVS, what was our hashtag again? Save the strat. Show me the strat. Signs of the strat. Where the strat at? That's right, PZ. Safety is our job number one. Ford trucks built Ford tough. National Memorial Cemetery, next exit. August ice. Always driving safe. You know me. When's the last time I hit a fence or a closed gate? Or a curb? Or a ditch? Or a cone? Or a small road? Got a Minnesota license plate if you're playing the license plate game. It's the weekend. Exactly. Uh, keep her under 65, all right? Yep, we're doing uh, just under 65 right now, keeping it safe for everybody. 291 miles worth of gas, seeking Vegas sunrise. Hey, coach, here's to a better live stream car setup. Thank you. It's uh, hashtag Stratterbust. That's right, Stratterbust. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat, $5 super chat. Be nice to Vegas Cones, coach. <laughs> We need them one. We may need them one day. We will need them one day. Marnie, how you doing on a Saturday? Sunday in Australia, Saturday here. Beautiful, beautiful Sunday down in Australia. So they say. The kangaroos be hopping. Keep out the riffraff, yes. Papa B. Hope you all enjoyed last night. Uh, had some fun. Uh, some interactivity at the casinos with Mrs. Cash. She did better than I did. She actually cashed out a winner. Our thanks to Keon for helping with that. We're setting her up for success. Got to play some new games she'd never played before. that I was going just under the speed limit and all these people passing me. They must be just over the speed limit. If I keep going north towards Flagstaff, I can pop over and see the dingo. One of these days when I'm not in a hurry, when I'm just doing my thing, we'll do that. 
We'll just pop in on him. We'll find out where he lives and just show up. I'm sure he wouldn't have, or wouldn't mind that at all. <laughs> Either way. Uh, in theory, the faster guy would get the ticket first. Plus, nobody wants to mess with the town car. If you've uh, seen the opening to Dirty Harry or Magnum Force, you know why. Whichever one is the one with uh, Starsky. Or was it Hutch? It was Hutch. The guy with the one song. Tim Matheson was in that too. David Soul, Tim Matheson. Pretty good movie. Hal Holbrook. Not sure why I remember way too much about that movie. And all the excitement. Lost count. Was it five or six? I don't know. Do you feel lucky, Puck? Well, do you? Once the cop sees the book, with a bowl of cereal, the boxes of cereal, and the milk, it will question your driving with your knees. Exactly. We don't want to spill milk because in the heat that'll turn nasty. Another fast car. Go, go get him. The license plate save us. Not sure what state. Make our northbound turn here. Tell the cop you buy them some Dunkin' or Starbucks. Yes. They like it when you offer them money. Allegedly. Tony Jazz, how are you? We are in, uh, we were in Scottsdale. We're now in North Phoenix on our way towards Cave Creek. Take the uh, carefree highway to Wickenburg. Wiki up. And then to Hoover Dam, we're going to go out onto Lake Mead later and look for bodies of water. Bodies of water is what we're going to be looking for. Enjoying some cauliflower and some cinnamon toast crunch as our snack on the road. Nothing but the best. $5,000 reward. Linda! Someone said, uh, I need to take a metal detector to the lake. It's your birthday this month, Mr. Man. Cool. Gonna try to fly a helicopter for your birthday? That's awesome. So 500 for each, or 5,000 for each body found. Guy was telling me, take a metal detector out to the lake and you'll find the, uh, the canisters. I'm thinking with the decomposition and all that, you need someone who can uh, spot a bone a mile away. But none of the hookers wanted to go with me. Hey now! I'll cut that out later. Uh, there's gold in them there, legs. That's a Dwayne Newton joke. If you find a barrel with something in it, I'm going to video metal detecting purely for the excitement. Oh, I loved when that. It's hard to metal detect and film at the same time. I have to get a crew. Last time I drove, I had pistachios. Made a big a mess. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is good for you. It's got your uh, basic food groups. Got your cinnamon, your toast, your crunch. Tony Jazz, uh, I love Fernando. What a great guy. Love his channel. Can't wait to see him. Gonna try to get to New York and hang out with him up there. It was a good time. Uh, crash landing will come and go. <laughs> so hard to say. Catch or crash landing. 
People asked me if I was a pilot. I told them my name is Sully in a previous live. And your sugar so you can crack yourself out. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Sugar in this? Change it after he uh, crash landed on his knees in front of the casino. Yes, that hurt. Today I did not take any pain meds thinking I was okay, but uh, that was not a good move. Plus I'm driving. Never want to drive on any kind of uh, substance that would alter your vision. No impairment, that's our number one rule here. No impairment ever. Part of our top seven rules. <laughs> or judgment. <laughs> exactly. Nice apartments out here. Temperature check. Oh, way over triple digit. warm here. And that's inside. 90s, maybe 100 this week. That was the heat again, buffering us. Sorry about that. We usually have a couple small buffers along the way here until it finally dies on the other side of Lake Pleasant. You can use the scrounge a snack. Look at that, huh? Cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, all right, do it again. Be the thumbnail. Every day I'm buffering. say about cinnamon toast crunch what's that there's a barrel right there is that a barrel oh, I thought we had a barrel okay yeah don't tell me if it's not appropriate here <laughs> Our other policy on this channel is never block the box. If someone's going in for some cereal, don't put your hand there and stop it. So uh, never, never block the box. Coach, I'm sending you a package this week. Next week, we stop at the uh, Minnesota largest candy store. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. 92 in Sherman Oaks. Wow. Thank you, truck guy, for cutting me off. You just do what you got to do there, bro. Also, have some other snacks here today. We'll show you here in a moment. We have the... Uh, let me hide this. The deluxe snack box, courtesy of uh, Zeus's mom. Thank you very much. Got the deluxe snack box in. Haven't opened it yet. Probably gonna do that here in a little bit. <laughs> Graphic one is here. Cool. Do a quick loop-to-loop uh, -loop here, and then we get uh, direct westbound again until we start shooting past the uh, Lake Pleasant area. So, I hope you're well thought of checking out you after visiting Fernando at Parade. Oh, cool! Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you being here. It was great parade coverage. Fernando does such a great job. Stop and go. I kind of stopped. Love the super friends. 
the SSO, I didn't know what it was, but it's super shout out. I'm amazed you can uh, live stream out in the middle of nowhere, exactly. Just as long as I got the, uh, the uh, what's it called, Siri or whatever this thing is on my iPhone, that's where I'm pulling up the internet on it. I don't even know what it's called, but that's the one I got. The graphic one's heading to Vegas today, cool. Maybe we'll see you on Fremont tonight. Dean is here, what's up Dean? This is the Carefree Highway. You may have heard of it in a uh, song. This is one that will take you uh, east to west, west to east, across the uh, northern mountains here. Lots of saguaras. If I can keep you long enough, there's another bunch of saguaras I want to stop at today. It's JB TV. How's it going? What's up, JB? And I've seen your cosmic golf stuff going on. Fantastic. It's JBTV, our first official moderator on the air conditioner. The phone is overheating something fierce today. Uh, 104 degrees outside, so now you're connected to the air conditioner to keep the phone cool. So it's a different angle right now. Hey everyone, can you see me? What's up? Uh, we're headed through the deserts of Arizona. It's hot. It's friggin' hot. A little bit early. Delicious snack food. Try cauliflower. Brought to you by the cauliflower growers of the world. Getting a lot of buffering. Yeah, we're out in the uh, northern deserts. Doing? Ottawa, 93 Fahrenheit. Wow. What's cracking? All right, let me try it again here and turn you around. Yeah, there's definitely buffers on this stretch out here, so I apologize in advance. And, or not, there you go. We'll try to keep a signal up here. This is a uh, north of Peoria, north of uh, Phoenix. 91 in Orlando, wow. There we go. Somebody taking a little road trip into the desert there. Use the restroom. That's a fellow former New Yorker. We're rooting for uh, Rangers tomorrow. Cool. Jordan Spieth, come on. Is he playing today? Cool. Excellent, dude. How you doing? Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, so close to 4,000 subscribers. It's been amazing, amazing run. It's good now, good, excellent. Don't forget. That yeah, looks like we're getting a lot of buffer today. Buffer here, buffer there, buffer, buffer everywhere. Here's the flag guy out here, always with flags and banners for sale. Thank you, Extra Jen. You're working hard at it. We want to support all our favorite uh, Vegas channels and all the people doing YouTube as best we can. We're not here to take anything away from them. All right, almost ready to go. It is Bufferville today. This North Korean internet that I uh, hijacked just doesn't do it anymore. Supposed to be better than this. Oh, black screen? No. Radio mode? I'll keep you here for a little bit then. Let me know if it's still black. Screen dark. Oh, spooky. We're back? We got back? Zoom? Zoom better? Zooming? All right, let me pull back from this vehicle, then you can see the zoom. How's that? Uh, now it's super zoomed. So can you see like uh, desert animals and things with the zoom? How bad is it? It's dark. It's just overheating like a son of a gun, temperature-wise here. Now there's nothing. 
Do I have to go back into the uh, radio mode? Is that what we're going to do? <laughs> All right, one moment. Let me try one more thing. In a closet, black hole in the sky. All right, everyone, uh, we're probably going to lose the stream here anyway in a few minutes. So what we'll do is we'll pick it up on the other side. Uh, we'll get close to Kingman. It's about two and a half hours from now. We'll be live. I'll keep you with me as long as we can.